Hey guys, so what I have here is the iPhone 7 uh, iFixit screen repair kit uh, from iFixit.com and I bought this kit because my wife's iPhone 7 had a failed LCD screen, a cracked screen when we were traveling aboard and uh, I actually got it repaired um, in Taiwan when we were there uh, traveling around and unfortunately that repair didn't go well because the screen started to uh, show sign of failure again um, after about a year. So in in less than a year, that, that replacement screen failed. So I went to iFixit and I saw they have a kit for sale for around $70, $75 shipped. And this is the kit. So um, in Taiwan, I actually spent close to $200 to have the screen repaired, which is a lot of money, but we needed it in a pinch. So I paid that much. Obviously, it's not a good value um, ever to have your screen repaired while you're aboard. Um, it's better to just, you know, save your phone and do it at home uh, yourself. You're probably going to do it, do it a much better job. Okay, so uh, let's open up the package and take a look and, and see what's inside. And then later on, when I get my wife's phone, when she comes back from work, we're going to start working on her phone to get the screen repaired again or replaced again. So this is what came with the repair kit. This is item number 332049-4. This is the iPhone 7 screen. Uh, new fix-it white color. And uh, um, it comes in two boxes. One is the repair part. That's probably a screen and the repair tools, probably the screen puller and the screwdrivers. So we're gonna open up the stuff and see what's what's exactly inside. Okay, so these are what's uh, in actually inside the, the repair kit box. So over here is the LCD screen, which was protected with this uh, bubble wrap, uh, inside the bubble wrap. And uh, of course it comes with uh, uh, cables attached to it and protective screen on the front of the phone, but it looks like the screen has been opened before because there are plenty of air bubbles uh, in there. So not sure if this is a new unit or a used unit, which which is pretty weird. Um, and over here, uh, they give you a guitar pick uh, to pry open the uh, top part of the phone, I think. And over here, also in the parts repair kit, is the water seal... Um, a gasket I think uh, which is also protected by those blue films so I think you uh, actually peel both sides of the film it's a double-sided tape and then just gently um, put it around the edge of the phone okay on the case um, again it actually arrived with one part kind of sticking out over here it was actually sticking onto the plastic thing over here um, so I'm not sure if it's like a quality control issue or not, but I don't think it's supposed to be sticking out. So in terms of the replacement part quality, I would say uh, this is pretty standard uh, made in China stuff that you're gonna see because I've, I've bought a lot of like Chinese replacement parts and all of them are like this. They're not very precise, um, but I, I think they should do the job just fine, okay? Um, over here in the parts bin, you have this little plastic pick over here, uh, have two sides and you have this little nip pick. I don't know how you call it, this little picker over here. And, uh, again, a prior plastic. And this is the, um, the, 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 uh, the handle that you're going to put all those different bits on for repair or take off of the iPhone and uh, so all the bits are included and it's uh, it's replaceable so you just put it on the tip of the thing over here and then you should be able to open up the iPhone 7 and over here is the little suction cup for uh, sucking your uh, put the put it on the screen and then suck your screen out once you have everything disassembled so uh, this part is, I added, I think, $5 for this little toolkit. If you don't have any tools yourself, it's most definitely very important you get this part, okay? So next, we're going to actually uh, have my wife's iPhone ready, and then we're going to take it apart and then put the new screen 
onto the onto the iPhone 7 and see if it's actually gonna fix um, the broken screen. Okay, here's how bad the screen looks like. <laughs> it's it's totally failed. Um, the capaci capacitive touch still works fine, uh, but the screen has somehow become a um, like a lower resolution uh, display for some reason, and you can see the color fading over there. Totally not normal. So um, let's see. I'm gonna unlock it first. And you can see how bad it is. Uh, it's it's really really horrible, right here. You can see the pixels on the screen. So it's totally failed. Um, instead of boring you guys with the step by step guide, I'm actually just gonna refer you guys and post the link down below on where you can follow the actual iFixit.com official guide on taking um, taking apart the iPhone. So. If there are anything that I want to mention, I'll mention it at the very end of the video when I finish the screen replacement, okay? So the steps are actually pretty straightforward. I'll come back in a little bit and show you guys once the screen is completely replaced and just to double check to see if the iFixit kit works or not. All right, so uh, I'm in the middle of the replacement. I actually got the screen out and got the capacitive touch button out of the way. So next, I'm gonna continue with installing the new screen onto the phone according to iFixit uh, manual. And uh, I'll come back and do a final conclusion video uh, once the installation is finished. Okay guys, so I finally got everything uh, put together and the old parts are out. Uh, the most important takeaway is the, the precision of those weather seals are not very accurate so um i'm not sure about the weather sealing um anytime you replace the screen with a non-genuine apple parts um because the weather seal is just not perfectly aligned despite my effort to perfectly aligning them um also the ribbon on the top which is this one over here that i talked about earlier on the new screen, you also need to absolutely make sure you don't drop your new screen um, any 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 past the uh, I guess uh, like 120 degrees because if you drop it like that, your new cable is gonna get ripped off as well, just like this one. So be really really careful. I think I ripped off the the cable on the on my screen when I, when I was doing the replacement for this new screen. There's a there's a slight rip over there, but I think likely they didn't put any actual cables in the area that actually got ripped off, like uh, somewhere over here. You see the little rip over there. So this is the most important takeaway. Try not to have your screen go over 120 degrees. What I what I did alternatively later on when I find out my screen was screwed up. I just put this uh, little suction cup over here and it just rested it over there to prevent that top cable um, from ripping off when you actually lay the phone flat when you try to install the cable and everything is back together. That's the most important to take away. Other than that, the entire process is actually fairly straightforward. And if you look right up right now, like the phone is fixed. There's uh Nothing wrong with the phone at all. The screen is perfect. And I tested the speakers, I tested the cameras, I tested the light sensor. So everything is working just fine. Also the uh, the speakers on the bottom and the touch screen is working as well. Um, when you do the touch screen, make sure you don't over tighten the, the little mounting screws on those touch screen. And uh, that's about it. Uh, so keep in mind once you have the screen replaced, uh, don't expect it to be watertight. Even if you put the uh, replacement water, the water resistant seal on it, it's not gonna be watertight. So just don't ever have any water on your phone after screen replacement. Uh, if you guys have any questions about the screen replacement on the iPhone 7 or similar, iPhone 7 Plus or iPhone 8, iPhone 6, I think the procedures are all very similar. So um, for me, I'm. I'm kind of handy, but I'm not like super handy. And for any, I think for any normal person, as long as you follow the instructions given on the iFixit.com um, and follow the videos, you should be able to replace the 
the screen, no problem at all. And for that matter, I think you should be able to replace the battery uh, very easily as well if you have a bad battery. Uh, that said, the most important takeaway is be really careful of the top cable. Uh, don't rip it off when you reinstall the cables because it's, it's going to ruin your uh, brand new screen as well. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any questions or comments on the iPhone 7 screen replacement, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below and I'll be happy to answer for you guys. Thanks again and uh, take care.